So we're just getting some bloodworm. We are putting in the miles after some stinnies. There you have it. It's locked there, can't slide down, and the hook is always proud. Right, so we managed to get a few bloodworms. There's a nice fresh piece of bloodworm bait. Excellent bait for white stem brass. Uh, we only managed to get three of those because the tide is pushing and we were a bit late. But I'm going to use my pump now and get some smaller worms. Now, nobody has sent me two of these. Actually, they sent Corey one and myself one. And this is the aluminium one. This is actually the only one in its kind, the only green one made. And uh, that one is for Corey. This is the stainless steel one, um, it's a bit heavier but they will almost last you a lifetime. This is a local company, please support them and uh, yeah, let's get some work. So as you can see I'm all kitted up, not only for the cold but for the sunlight as well. We always try to use these UV protected shirts or just jackets or whatever to, to protect our skin and, and the gloves as well. And these Maui gyms as well, they're actually made out of recycled plastic that came out of the sea. So that's quite a nice initiative um, which you guys can support. But anyways, I'm going to use this Berkeley Fusion 3.0 and um, fishing light 20 pound braid. 20 pound um, fluoro, the water is quite clean, so the fluorocarbon would help a lot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make a few throws here and then move along until we find some nice water. Um, this is maybe a bit too flat, but yeah, you know, it's starting to pick up now. It doesn't look too bad. So, as I said, we're fishing right before a storm, so we're expecting some heavy winds to come through winds up to 65 kilometers per hour so it's got to be rough and the footage might be uh, bad as well because of all the the wind and the, the water coming with the wind uh, onto the ledge so um, I apologize for that but yeah let me show you how to rig a blood worm so it's definitely not necessary to use a whole piece like this so I'm just going to use this little piece here just that and uh, what I'm going to do is just take my cotton and all I do I just want to secure this part here so I'll just take this piece of worm you can see it's nice and tough and I'll take this piece uh, with all the cotton on just hook my hook in there almost like a dingle dangle and you're ready to go So all I've got here is a piece of foam and that's just to keep your worm straight. Uh, it's not for flotation. Um, if you don't have this, your worm normally slides down onto your hook and it makes a blob here and you miss your hook ups. So if you don't have something there to lock up your worm, 
it's just gonna go down it's gonna slide down like that and you're gonna miss your fish so that just helps to to lock your worm onto your line there and and always have that worm straight and your hook proud so yeah just gonna take some more cotton and just wrap that onto that piece of foam and there you have it it's locked there can't slide down and the hook is always proud nice and messy bloodworm let's get this in the water so i want to throw right there on that little bank there so that little bank there at the back the reason why i'm throwing on that bank is that's where all the food is all the crabs and worms etc they hide on these banks so this white water it washes loose all these little crabs and worms and when the banks fill up like the one at the back these white stem rust, they come onto the bank when it's deep enough and they just collect their food This is one thing about steam brush fishing, long walks on the beach. I would like to put Cory on his first size steam brush, whatever it takes, so maybe today. First size brush. Whoa! I like it, guys. Yeah, today we put in the hard yards. We had, we had a long walk, and uh, we got to this spot. First throw on, awesome. like a body.
guys thanks for watching we persisted until the end that we got those steenies the weather was crazy the wind was crazy but um, there is a difference between bad weather and bad conditions and today the the weather was bad but the conditions were good so we knew um, there could be a, a fish uh, waiting for us so yeah we got it it was a long day but um, that's what it's all about if you like the video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed yet please press the subscribe button and we'll see you next time